This video presentation is brought to you by the Pro Mathematics Academy. We now continue to find the equation for CD. Okay. And likewise, the first thing we have to do is find the gradient of CD. Okay, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Here, the coordinate for C and D, let's copy it down. Okay, so we have those, and now we can continue to find this equation. So if we plug in our y values, I get negative 1 minus 3 over negative 1 minus 5. Here we end up with negative 4 over negative 6, which is equal to 2 thirds, right? And once we have our gradient, we then write down y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Here, we're going to choose c. Well, I'm going to choose d. So this means y minus, what is my y value here? 3 equals m, what is m? 2 over 3. x minus, what is my x value here? That corresponds to y equal 3. That is 5. Now I transpose for y. This gives me 2 over 3 times x minus 5 plus 3. Right? I now distribute this 2 thirds into that. And I get 2 thirds x minus 10 over 3 plus 3, okay? To simplify this, I simply divide this 3 by 1, and now this becomes y equals 2 thirds x minus 10 plus 9 over 3. So this is y equals 2 thirds x minus 1 over 3. And that's my final answer for the equation of CD, okay? Let's continue. The equation of EF, the equation of EF, right? Here I'll copy down my EF. And now, we should try to find the gradient of EF, which is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this one is equal to negative 5 minus 10 over 10 minus 10. Right? And what we realize here is that we end up with negative 15 over 0. So here we have no gradient. Okay. Likewise, we say that the gradient, you cannot find the gradient here because the gradient is undefined. Okay. Whenever we're defining, whenever we're dividing by zero, right, we say that that number is undefined. So here the gradient is undefined, right? And whenever the gradient is undefined, it must be that we have a vertical line okay so here we say that the equation of a vertical line is x equals a right x equals a so once you can figure out one of the x values right then you will know the equation of that vertical line. So here, we see that both of these points have a corresponding x value of 10, right? So here, equation of EF is x equals 10. And guys, whenever we have a vertical line or 
a horizontal line, then the equation simplifies down to something like this, okay? Right? So the equation of a vertical line is x equals a. This is very important, guys. Cannot stress this enough. So here, EF is a vertical line, and so we ended up with no gradient, which is the same thing as saying that it's undefined. <laughs> All right? So another example of something like this is if we were asked to find the equation of the line passing through one two and five two okay notice here i'm not going to do any calculations but once the two y values are the same okay guys once we recognize that here we have y equal two and here we have y equal to, right? Once we recognize that here y equals 2 and here y equals 2, then the equation of this line must be y equal 2. Likewise, if we look back at these two points, we have x equal 10 here and x equal 10 here. So the equation of this line must be x equal 10. That is it for this video. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe for future post notification.